Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoid, Midwestern Hoof Trimmer, and I'm going to talk about a few things during this trim, so stick with me here. Now, there have been some misconceptions on how or why a hoof gets like this. Is it neglect or because the cows are walking around in their own feces? Both of these actually couldn't be further from the truth. You see, hoof grows or is formed, just like our hair and nails, and hoof wears. However, it doesn't wear perfectly, and therefore gets a little out of whack and uneven because of the cow's gait or the way that they walk. Now I know what you're thinking, well what happens in the wild then? Well that answer is quite simple. Mother Nature calls out the weak animals or those with poor genetics. Therefore, in the wild, those animals die atrocious deaths. But in our care, it's our job to care for and maintain the health, comfort, and well-being of these animals. Now you might see some videos that show problems or things that don't look necessarily all that healthy or comfortable. But those are emergency room trims. You see, just like nobody would watch a doctor's office visit of a normal checkup, very few people watch the trims of the majority of the hooves that barely need anything but a slight adjustment. Now back to the emergency room, if we had a person with a piece of rebar sticking out of their leg, we would watch that and probably share that with our friends. But make no mistake, these problems or ugly issues are the rare ones and are the minority of our job, just like the majority of doctor's office visits are boring with nothing to see. It's important to understand that a dairy is a business and the goal of every business is to be profitable. However, it is no secret in the dairy industry that the key to profitability is cow comfort animal welfare. And another thing to remember is that the longer that a cow lives, the more profitable she is. That's why dairy farmers pay us hoof trimmers to come on a routine basis to provide maintenance trimming to prevent problems and to keep the cows as comfortable as possible. But just like in human beings, if we rounded up a thousand people, we would find a certain percentage of problems or issues, no matter how much care and prevention we take. Well, I hope that this sheds some light for some of you, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and share. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.